Hey guys, Mark here and welcome to day eight of the Memory Boot Camp. It's a new week and you know what? This week it's all about creating some memory power. And so we're going to jump straight into this today. So I hope you are ready. I hope you're prepared. Get your mind in a bit of a playful state because I'm going to be sharing with you your first memory technique, which is called the chain method. Now, listen, whether you've done the chain method before or not, it doesn't matter because the chain method, in fact, all of these memory techniques is about consistency. In order to become good at it, you don't just do it once, you've got to do it consistently. And that's what builds up your memory power so you can then take what you learn into your life. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you a story right now. The story doesn't really make any sense, but that's okay. I'm gonna do this story three times. On the third time, I'm just gonna say the main words of the story. All you have to do is imagine what I say to you in your mind as clear as you can. Now, what you may have the urge to do as we get going along the story, we get 10, 11, word 12, you might want to go back to the beginning because you're gonna feel that there's no way you'll remember it. Do not do that. Stay with the story. This is important. Sound good? Okay, take yourself a deep breath. Here we go. So, you know the Riddler? from Batman, he's gonna be our first character in this story. Imagine this. Imagine the Riddler, and he presses a big red button. Out of this button comes a big cloud of smoke. The smoke covers an old oak tree. Out of the oak tree runs hundreds of tiny nuns. The nuns are tied together with a rusty chain. The chain is attached to a pink palace. You are standing on top of the palace, shouting up, shouting out your name. Ark! Right? Or your name. Your friend grabs you and starts having an argument. Then they show you their laptop. You reach inside the laptop and you pull out a magic book. You open up the book and start studying the words. All of a sudden, Superman flies out, laughing hysterically. He reaches into his cape and pulls out a golden clock. The clock takes a deep breath, pulls out some keys and runs off. Feels like a lot, doesn't it? Stay with me. This is going to be good. I'm going to do it second time. We're going to go straight into this. Now, just imagine the story as we go along. Make it as clear as you can in your mind. Do not go backwards. Here we are. Imagine the Riddler. He presses a big red button. Out of the button comes a big cloud of smoke. It covers an old oak tree. Hundreds of tiny nuns run out. Wrapped around them is a rusty chain. The chain is attached to a pink palace. You stand on top of the pink palace and shout out your name. Your friend grabs you and has an argument. They show you their laptop. You reach inside and pull out a magic book. You start studying the words. Superman flies out. He laughs hysterically, pulls out a golden clock. The clock takes a deep breath and then pulls out some keys and runs off. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Last time, I'm just going to say the main words of the story. Now, you may find that you're going ahead of me. You might see the pictures before I say them. Here we are, Riddler, red button, cloud of smoke, oak tree, tiny nuns, rusty chain, pink palace, you shouting your name, your friend, Laptop, magic book, studying words, Superman, laughs hysterically, golden clock, deep breath, keys. How'd you do? Well, you know what? We're gonna find out because today that is your activity. Your activity is to Test yourself. Now, in a moment, once I finish this going live, I'm going to write down the 15, the 17 words on this post. And all you have to do is write down on a piece of paper somewhere 
what you think these 17 words are, and then you can check them against the answers that I put on this post. Sound good? Excellent. Now listen, if you want some extra credit, because I always give a little bit of extra credit, right? An hour from now, see how many you remember. And then tomorrow, before you join the live uh, video again, check again and see how many you remember. Because in fact, this is only part one of a two-step strategy I'm sharing with you today. I will reveal what all of this means tomorrow. Sound good? Okay, listen, if you find that you don't get all of them, they're not all in your head, that's fine. Watch the parts of the video again. Just try and make it clearer in your mind and kind of dial it up. Any questions, post them on the video. Great stuff. Listen, have a great day. Have fun with it. And I'll see you for our next session tomorrow.